hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to champions league predictions a lot to get through as always so guys let's get straight down to this video so guys you know what to do good to know big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is dynamo kiev versus bar munich dynamo kiev ain't had a bad champions league this uh, coming season but well uh, at home to Bayern Munich a very different team Bayern Munich are in the Champions League and in Bundesliga it's going to be a really interesting game for this one but I'm going to go for Bayern Munich win and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bayern Munich win my next one is Villarreal versus Manchester United now the big news at Man United this, uh, this weekend just gone they lost to Watford, but see the end of Anagar Solskjaer's reign as Man United manager. Should that come a bit sooner? I know, I know, I know a lot of Man United fans have been asking for him to uh, leave or to get sacked, but it has happened now. Going to very different places this weekend, though. They got up at Villarreal, in that Emery's team, who let's not forget was lined up to take over Steve Bruce at Newcastle literally maybe just over three weeks ago but it's going to be a really interesting game will he come to United only time will tell but Poch is leading the manager role at Man United at the minute to get the job so go forward to this game and not only has turned out that Newcastle job obviously Eddie Howe is now in charge but I'm going to go because of that and of Probably Michael Cowick says caretaker charge. I'm going to go for a Villarreal win, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 Villarreal win. My next one is Barcelona versus Benfica. Barcelona doing, you know, I ain't really, saw, I ain't really had a look at them or had a chance to look at them, you know, since any managers came in. But Daniel Alves. Back in Barcelona and apparently only play for one year or a week. I'm not sure how true that is. That's maybe just something I read. Going up against an okay Benfica side. Because I haven't seen the Barcelona, you know, uh, mate shift yet. I'm going to go for a Benfica win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Benfica win. My next one is Young Boys versus Atlanta. Young boys having, you know, quite a good uh, group F run. Beating Man United week one, and they play Man United at the end of the group stages. Atlanta, you know, I think it's their game against United I watched, and basically it was a really good run by Atlanta. I think Atlanta just missed out again, if I remember correctly. But it's going to be a really interesting game. I'm going to go for a win for Atlanta. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Atlanta win. My next one is L-O-C-S or Lille against Salzburg. I ain't really took much notice of either of these clubs to, uh, you know, really give a, a good opinion. But... Knowing Lille and knowing know what sort of team they are, I'm going to go for a Lille win, I think, and I'm going to go for a scrappy 1 0 Lille win. My next one is Savinia versus Wolfsburg. Savinia doing okay in Group G, going up against a very good German side, as in Wolfsburg. Will this make a bit of a difference to you know the way they're playing, the way they're going about things? I can't really see it, so I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Malmo versus St. Petersburg. Uh, Malmo is... I've seen them once already, and you can see the vlog up on my channel. I did go to the game at Chelsea, when now uh, Chelsea play Malmo in London, and one point I've got to take you know, I can't take away from my remote, is their support. Their support was brilliant on that night. I sat not too far away from them, and if you go back and watch my vlog, it really was a, a great atmosphere by them. 
even though they went 2 0 down, they did not stop singing, and it was a brilliant support by Mamo on that night. And uh, yeah, so fair play to them. So Petersburg, on the other hand, ain't you know doing too sort of badly in the Champions League. It really is going to be one of them things. But I think the Petersburg will win this game. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 to St. Petersburg win. My next one is probably the one of the games in the Champions League this week. Chelsea versus Juventus at Stamford Bridge. Now, yet again, this is a really good tie. Juventus have came downhill, you know, with the likes of losing Cristiano Ronaldo and, you know, losing some big players. But Thomas Tuchel at Chelsea, what a brilliant job he's doing. Three points clear in the Premier League, I think they are at the top. Doing a really brilliant job, you know. So I'm going to go, it's going to be tight. I reckon it's going to be tough, it's going to be tight. But I'm going to go for a 2 1 Chelsea win. My next one is Besiktas versus Ajax. Besiktas, you know, I think they're having a good run in Group C. Going up against a very good Dutch side with Ajax. This is going to be interesting. The likes of Ajax going to Besiktas. Can't quite remember the way the other result went. I think, yeah, yeah, we were played, yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. Still expecting a good game though. My next one is Inter Milan versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Inter Milan doing okay in Group D. I think they might be in the top two by now, but Shakhtar Donetsk, you know, don't take nothing away. They are really good. I think they're Turkish. Apologies if I'm wrong. But, um, so I'm going to go for an Inter Milan one, even though I've said that, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Inter Milan win. My next one is Club Bruges versus RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig, you know, do doing okay in Group A. Same with Club Bruges, but I'm going to go for another draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus PSG. Obviously, one of the big games in the Champions League again this weekend. Uh, Man City, I can't quite remember how they got in the Premier League this weekend. I think they might have won. But on the back end of that plan, PSG, whether it be Poch's last game in charge of PSG, we'll have to wait and see. But it's going to be really interesting to uh, see what happens at the Etihad Stadium this Wednesday. Even though I'm saying that, I'm going to go for a PSG win. I'm just probably expecting a little bit more from PSG, if I'm being brutally honest. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 PSG win. Expect a lot of goals in that game. My next one is Atletico Madrid versus AC Milan. Atletico Madrid, it's good to see Griezmann back with Atletico. AC Milan, no, you know, we're all doing their sort of thing, getting on with their business. It's going to be a really interesting game, but I'll give this game to the Spanish side, and I'm going to go for another 2-1 win. Expect a lot of 2-1s this week. My next one is Liverpool versus FC Porto. Now Liverpool, I don't know how to summon them up this season. You know, they get going and they, uh, anyway. Going over to the Porto side, really don't know too much about um, how, I don't, as I, said, I was about to say, I don't know that much about Porto, which I don't. I do know that they were in the Champions League way back, I think it's 2005 06 season. Could be wrong again, but it's going to be a really interesting game. But being at Anfield, I'm going to give this game to Liverpool just about. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Sporting Lisbon versus Borussia Dortmund. Now, I do like how one of you advised me. I think it's the last round of uh, group games where Dortmund played Ajax. And I went with a four. Uh, I went with a four nil to Dortmund, and then one of you lovely lot said, "Did I watch the last game?" And I, unfortunately, I didn't. And 
I did watch that game and I could see why um, it was a sort of a hillbilly. But in one way, Dortmund did play, I just did not play in the second half. So I sort of remembered that for this uh, round. It's going to be a really interesting game though, but knowing what Dortmund did against Ajax in the first half and then in the second half, looked like two different teams completely. So I'm going to go for a Sporting Lisbon win and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Sporting Lisbon win. My last one is Sheriff versus Real Madrid. Sheriff have had, you know, a brilliant one. I think they've only won two out of their previous three games, four games, how many games have gone. But let's not knock Sheriff in any way, shape or form. To beat two teams, I believe, one was Real Madrid, who are coming off against this weekend. Will it happen again? Considering what I've seen in Real Madrid, I believe it can happen again. And I'm going to go for another show of win. But yet again, laugh it off. But I think it's Real Madrid they did beat in week two. Week two, week one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 show of win. Don't ask me why, but I, I will ask you in the comments if you put, you know, ask me in the comments and I'll try to explain. But... Anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.